Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim. Uh, listen, I got a brand new grill I wanted to show you guys. For some reason, yesterday, my um, red one is, uh, it stopped working. I kept lighting it, and the flame would go right out. The old Coleman. I paid 40 bucks for it on Facebook Market. So immediately, this is how I cook. I went on uh, Facebook Market to replace it, and I seen a, several of them. There was one for $80. I made a, a little, I reached out to the person and it even came with one of these tanks. So I was gonna get it. And then uh, I went to Walmart and I said, I wonder what they get. I know they're kind of expensive, especially if you want a gas one. I don't want any charcoal. And this was $96. So I said, why would I pay $80 for using a drive to Boca when I can get this one? And take a look, it's got three burners and it's all brand new you can put some buns and stuff up here so i've got a couple of burgers here i'm going to make for miss tammy and i uh, but what i'm going to do is let me show you guys i had another hose my other grill sat right here and i could just disconnect the hose from the camper that heats up my hot water heater and uh the hose that went from my other grill, I would connect it right to the tank that sat up here. But it doesn't reach, and it's not, um, this one doesn't reach, the new one. And so I've been reluctant to get this one filled, it's empty. So I'm gonna go get this one filled right down the street here at U-Haul later today, and I'm gonna have two tanks. So I'm not gonna have to fool with this, taking it off the camper and putting it on the, can on the uh, grill. Uh, so um, that's what I'm gonna do. Let me show you guys. So what happened was, this hose, uh, when you disconnect it from down in here, the connection is different uh, than what I had on the, on the red Coleman. But this is the same, I've already tried it and turned it on. Um, so what we'll do is we'll leave this one connected to the, um, to the grill permanently, and I'll have that one filled and put it back up in front of my camper so I can just flip the switch on the inside and have hot water. And look at this grill. I like the fact that I've got these two sides uh, over here to um, uh, lay some stuff down. Now, we do have, I have to be careful. We have some flies and some things flying around out here. So let me show you if I can just light it up. I've got this Dollar, Dollar Tree. Let me turn the gas on. That would help, right? Let's see, they actually have holes down here uh, to do this. Oh, that one lit right away. Let me go this way on this one. They actually have little lighters. I don't know. Oh, it did work. Look. It works. It has little, its own little lighters. Oh, man, isn't that cool? So I turn them all the way down to low. This baby's putting out some heat. All my stuff is here. The other grill, I didn't have any of those things. I had to, like, sit it down. I was worried about flies and I was worried about it falling on the ground so I got these all seasoned up here for Miss Tammy and I and we're living the uh, minimalist lifestyle 96 bucks and I figure if I ever uh, you know pull out of here with my little spot uh, you know I can put it back on uh, Facebook marketplace and get 40 50 bucks for it so you know I'll keep it nice and clean but I do like these little these little deals here. This is the Expert Grill at Walmart for ninety six dollars. If you want to get yourself one for the uh, summer, and you know, like I said, you got those places up there to put the the buns and everything. We also bought us a rack of baby back ribs for eight dollars, and uh, we're gonna cook some ribs. I got some chicken tenders. So over the next few days, we'll be wearing this baby out, getting our money's worth out of it. But. Uh, Dollar Tree for the uh, lighters. Uh, these are from the Dollar Tree. This is from the Dollar Tree. So remember I told you guys on the other uh, video, I don't like weight and glass things that break. So, uh, you know, for the weight in the camper there. So anyway, um, and the wheels roll really nice uh, when you push it around. I've got it pulled away from the camper and not near my awning up here. So everything is good. And we were trying to figure out what this was. And we looked over the paperwork. And this chain is already connected to this screw right here. 
And well, I guess what it is, is you can put a piece of um, some kind of lighter or, or uh, some, some way to light the grill, but it has those little igniters, but those are notorious for stop working. So this will come in handy when, when those stop clicking. But I'm real happy with it. I'm real happy with it. Was $102 after the, uh, after the tax. And then another thing before I let you go, you know, I have a lot of mosquitoes where I live here. It's, it's, it's bad. You know, it's Florida. And I put my fan out here on high, and it blows right across my doorway. So now when I go in, I don't carry them in with me. I always get one or two every day, and it's really annoying. I'm trying to get it. And uh, so if I open up the door, see, the, the blow, the wind of the fan there is going to blow anything, a fly or a mosquito out of the way. This is a Honeywell that blows nice and hard. And uh, I took out uh, my uh, rugs right. and mop. Anytime a phone call comes in on the phone, it stops the recording. So I got Miss Tammy as my camera camera lady today. So before I go back inside, um, yeah, we might show you another clip of flipping the burgers and how they came out. We're gonna go in there and make a salad. So uh, hang on for the next clip. All right, we're gonna go outside and flip them now for you guys. Where's my spatula? Yeah, there's no way the air conditioner. I set the alarm on the phone there and then four or five minutes later. Oh, I smell them good. Look at the smoke. Yeah, we're barbecuing, man. Look at that. First time cooker. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. I have a little uh, drain down there too. There's a, um, it came with a, a little thing down there to hold the grease that drips out. Those are coming up good. They only got a couple more minutes. How do you like your burgers? Come on, stop on by, I'll make you one. All right, we'll be back in a minute. All right guys, check it out. Before I go get those burgers, this is what I make most days. Uh, you buy them at Walmart, they're $3.84. It's a Caesar salad kit. I like the uh, the chopped one. And then we put the burger or chicken or whatever uh, protein you want on top of the steak. I, I did want to tell you guys that I, I fell off the wagon. No, just kidding. This is Miss Tammy's. I didn't even drink that little old foo-foo pink stuff. That's Miss Tammy's. And as you can see, she's not a very big drinker. But anyway, the... Uh, the hamburger's gonna be ready in a second. We're gonna pull them off and end the video. And her and I are gonna enjoy this salad. Uh, I really, really like these. If you haven't tried them yet at Walmart, you buy, it's a kit. It comes with the dressing and the, uh, what is it? Oh, you wanna show it again? There it is. It's the chopped one. Chop. It even comes with the pepper, check it out. So, I know those burgers are about done. Let's go out there and do it. Now, I have a system where I shake this around with, I have two bowls here, see? I put one on top of the other and just shake it around. Before I put the dressing on, let's go pull our burgers off. Um, here's my plate. By the way, I got yelled at by one of you guys or ladies out there about washing the plate after I put the meat on. Nice and clean. Let's go get them. Come on out, Miss Tammy. Miss Tammy's doing a good job videoing for us today. You ready? Let me see if these are ready. Yeah, and we'll let them rest, you know. Those are, those are done. So, first time, you guys saw it the first time. I got to use it. And I love how it has its automatic start and everything. Take a look at those burgers, everybody. So anyway, you know what Miss Tammy and I are going to do right now, don't you? That's right. We're going to crush it. <laughs>